Funeral service today for Jordan Neely, the subway performer who was choked to death on the F train earlier this month. As CBS 2's Ali Bauman reports, his loved ones and fellow New Yorkers are still seeking justice. A full church in Harlem Friday celebrating the life and mourning the death of Jordan Neely. Jordan was screaming for help. Neely was the 30-year-old Michael Jackson impersonator who was choked to death on the subway by Marine veteran Daniel Penny earlier this month. Neely struggled with mental illness for much of his life. He was homeless and begging for food when he died. Witnesses said he had been acting erratically and making threats. We gotta talk about how he died, why he died that way, and also the failures that happened long before that. Video of Neely's death elicited citywide protests for nearly two weeks until Penny was arrested for second degree manslaughter. Some are questioning why police released him from custody in the first place. When they choked Jordan, they put their arms around all of us. All of us have the right to live. Neely's funeral was held in the same church as his mother's funeral after she was choked to death when Jordan was a child. Jordan's casket was carried out Friday as Michael Jackson's music echoed in the street. He was loved, he was cared for, he was seen by this community. And after, say his name, Jordan Neely. Protesters gathered Jordan once again. Neely. It's getting justice for Jordan, but also there's other people right now who are living life like Jordan. Imploring that Neely's death not be in vain. Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News. Penny's attorneys say they expect him to be fully absolved as the case moves forward. Just